so I feel a little bit more penitent tonight. Love that. Yeah, we've got a lot of creeps in the world. Oh yeah, I mean a lot of, I mean horror, we've talked about this before, horror is, has historically been one of the most inclusive genres intersectionally across the board. I mean, the original Fright Night is the gayest movie I've ever seen. Yeah. No notes. No, no. I've seen plenty of gay movies, Fright Night's up there. Um, where's David? Oh, we've got questions. David's broke the microphone again. Can't, 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 can't. David, you're a champion. Oh, uh, hi, uh, absolutely adore Terrifier. It's going to be quite philosophical for this first question. Knowing the success of the film has now, what would you go back in time? What would you tell yourself while you were going to the film? Keep better records. Like, I, I think what's like weird now is like, uh, like it, this is a, such a stupid thing, but it's like more money, more problems, you know what I mean? Like, the bigger it gets, the more we have to keep track of like, things that you don't, as an artist, ever think about, like accounting and things like that, and like paperwork. And uh, I, I wish I was like better about that. Like you're, you're pointing out, we shot it nine years ago. Uh, we were babies. We, there's there's a lot of experience that we've had. I mean, we had already been working for a while, but there's so much more that we know now in terms of in terms of contracts, in terms of safety, in terms of all sorts of things. But it certainly, if we had known, would have made the the intense conditions that we shot it in. I think it would have been easier to be patient if we had known when you guys were going to make it. Yeah. I, I also think Where we can kind of 